Hey, um, you guys probably haven't seen me make any One Piece videos in quite a while. I'm actually not sure when the last time I made one was. Um, I think probably about a month or two ago. Um, and you're probably wondering why. Uh, and I can tell you why. The reason is because my uh, enjoyment slash hype for the game... Um, well, okay, so to clarify, I'm still playing One Piece, right? Like, I haven't quit the game. Um, but I'm basically only playing it at Locals, and I have no desire to um, grind the game. Um, for three reasons. Uh, the first of them, I think I'll just get out of the way first, is I'm really enjoying a game called Star Wars Unlimited. You may have seen on my channel. I post quite a lot about it. Um, I think the game is really, really fun. It's really, really well designed. Um, it's a much better competitive experience. It's best of three. Um, it has sideboards. <laughs> like, I don't think I need to say anything else. Um, there's, there's no like luck bullshit mechanics like triggers and stuff. So like, it's just a better competitive experience. But even ignoring that, you know, there's there's uh, complaints I have with Star Wars, right? And you know, like I, I like playing with my shiny cardboard. One Piece has the nicest shiny cardboard on the market at the moment, in my opinion. Um, you know, there's competition. There's competition certainly from like Pokemon, for example. But I don't really like the gameplay of Pokemon as much. Um, and maybe you know, with this Gundam game that comes out, that that looks really nice. So maybe that'll look better. But anyway, moving that to the side, I think that that's a minor point. Um, I, I've for most of my life played more than one card game at once. I don't think that is an issue as much. I think for me, the sort of the bigger issues um, are regarding um, events and regarding products. And those are what have really massively killed my hype for the game recently. And I know that I am going to be interested in getting into the game competitive again, competitively again uh, in the early part of next year. And I'll sort of elaborate why. But I wanted to make this video to kind of explain why there have been like basically no One Piece videos on the channel for ages. Um, and I am planning on making more. It's just... You know, I've, I've got set nine cases coming, so I'll do videos for those. Um, we I ended up skipping set eight sealed product entirely. I don't own a single set eight card, I think, outside of the two double packs I bought. Um, so, like, I, you know, I, I still need to update my decks for those. Uh, you know, I need to pick up my premium uh, premium booster alts and stuff. Like, there's a load of stuff I need to pick up, um, but obviously well, Star Wars has been taking priority at the moment. Um, also, sorry if I sound weird. I'm sick as a time of recording, but I'm trying to get this all recorded and ready um, because I'll be traveling a lot uh, over the upcoming month and a half or so. But anyway... Um, so let's go over to the One Piece website and I can kind of explain a bit more uh, what I'm talking about. So um, there's sort of two, two, two real areas where I'm sort of have these complaints. Sorry, I just realized that this is uh, kind of massively zoomed in. Um, so yeah, two, two major areas where I'm, I'm having these complaints. Uh, events and, um, and product. Uh, and I guess let's just start with the product because it's kind of easier. Um, so you can see we have a load of product that's meant to be coming out. Um, and if we look, uh, and I guess like the big one is we look at booster sets, right? So like basically this entire year, right? Outside of set six, which came out in March, um, extra booster in May, uh, set seven in June, set eight in September. Um, every single one of these sets has been delayed by between weeks, uh, up to a month in, in England, in, in the UK. Um, and that has been uh, fucking dog shit, to put it lightly. Um, it's really hard to give a shit about a game if uh, I don't know... One, if I don't know that um, I'm going to have the cards for a particular tournament. And it's not like this is all of Europe, right? Like, if it was all of Europe, it's one thing. We're like, fine. But everyone in Europe is having this issue. So, you know, it's very easy to kind of go, okay, well, you don't get to play with these cards or you do get to play with these cards, whatever. Um, it's just the UK. Um and two, it's like, so like, yeah, obviously not knowing if I'm going to have the card sucks, but also like the being five months behind this game um, in Japanese is like shit enough already. But like, if I'm like six or seven months, it's like, I, I don't care. Right. Like, so I think for me, the most egregious example of this is right. Like, so is uh, EBO one. So I was very seriously grinding the game uh, in OBO six to EBO one. Um, and uh, you, you'll have remembered, like, I posted, like, loads of Patreon articles and, like, loads of deck profiles and stuff around this time because I was really confident. I'd done loads of testing. Um, I was really confident in, like, my ability to perform at this time uh, in the game. Um, and then EBA1 was later month. And uh, I did... None of that testing mattered. Um, and that fucking sucked balls, right? Like, okay, great. I've just, you know, I've spent a week uh, grinding, like, with my friend. Like, I've taken some time off work because I was going to... I was going to visit them anyway, but we both make our games. So we were like, yeah, cool. Let's just, you know, grind a load of testing out. We were both so confident, like, looking into the, the format, and then none of that testing matters. And it was actively detrimental to our performance because, like, okay, well, now we're used to EBA1, but actually we should be used to OPO6. Um, yeah, so, like, and this was delayed a month. Like, by the time we got uh, the card, now this is, you know, ignoring the fact that 
by the time I got my case, it was fucking worthless. It's ignoring the fact that like cases have gotten worse and worse and worse to buy, and I will not be buying a product from OP10. Spoiler. I sort of come up to that, but um, this is a major part of the reason I will not be buying sealed product is because one, it feels shit to open at the moment. Like, it, you know, you, the, the values go to zero, like almost immediately. Um, like, which obviously is like, I know you shouldn't care about the value if you're buying sealed product, you're doing it kind of for fun. But like, I should, if I'm pulling a manga rare, I should at least be breaking even, right? And like, you know, this set, that was not even the case. Um, so it felt absolutely atrocious spending so much money on sealed product, which we had to lock in like ages ago, by the way. Like, you know, we locked in this EVO one pre-order probably in 2023 um, with my locals, who I also didn't want to fuck over by backing up, by the way, right? So like, you know, I was like, what am I supposed to do here? Um, and then they ended up being a month delayed. <laughs> also, what's the point? Like, why Why would I even bother? You know, like, um, so that obviously sucked. I think this was delayed like two weeks. So seven was delayed like two, three weeks and we got it in July. Um, Treasure Moves, I don't even know when this actually showed up in the UK. Um, OP08 was definitely delayed at least two weeks. Um, Premium Booster is still technically not out um, in the UK and Europe. I think maybe it came out this, like, last Friday. Maybe. I'm pretty sure it's still technically not out. Um, and, like, there's stock issues all over the place. This just sucks, right? There's stock issues everywhere. Um, I don't think that I have a problem with the release um, cadence or anything. I think this is fine. I definitely don't like that they're going to be doing... Um... So these six starters, I think, are great for introductory players. I mean, I guess I, I am just making my peace with the fact that I'm not going to be collecting the full playset of the game anymore. I'm selling most of my stuff. I'm just going to be maintaining a black playset, and this will be way easier to manage from then on. Um, but, like, yeah, this is just getting to be a ridiculous cost. Like, you know, 10 started X a year or something, like, <laughs> which you buy two copies of each, and then, like, all the other stuff that comes out, and it just ends up being, like, a release every month just breaking my bank. Like, it's just a bit annoying, because Star Wars is, like, a reasonably expensive game to maintain a full playset for. And I would rather maintain a full playset for Star Wars than for One Piece, for sure. Like, I think I'm getting way more value out of that Star Wars playset than I am the One Piece playset. But anyway, um, so that's the sealed product side. This is less of an issue, right? Because, fine, I'm, I'm going to be buying singles. I'm going to be doing what I said you should do and what I've never done. Um, and I'm just going to be buying singles. Like, I enjoy opening sealed product. I enjoy supporting the game. I have the money to do it. But it's gone to the point where it just feels not economically viable and i do this like as a business right like you know so even and i can't even justify it so yeah kind of ridiculous um although that being said i am really excited for these two sets next year so you know march and april is when i will really start giving a shit about this game again next year i know um but like until then i'm not massively going to it also doesn't help that the op9 meta kind of sucks ass by the way as well i'm looking at it in japan and the op8 meta was terrible uh, the op7 meta was terrible like the meta has been so bad for this entire year as well um which is also like a separate issue which i'll probably talk about more in a bit okay let's talk about then events um, so here are, and so like you go on the event page and we've got a load of events coming up and let's, let's talk about my experience with these. Okay. So firstly, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I didn't get into a single fucking finals. <laughs> I didn't get into one. Uh, and part of this is obviously my fault, right? So if we look at when they were, there was one in the UK on September 7th to 8th, and then one in France and one in Italy. I was away on a holiday, uh, during this period. Now, in my defense, can you fucking blame me? The, the finals last year were nowhere near around September. Like, th that's crazy. And this was the one weekend of the entire month where I was busy. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I do it this early, it should be fine. <laughs> okay, it happens. So I couldn't even apply for this one. Not that I probably would have gotten a ticket because I didn't get a ticket for any of these, which is like, as a highly, uh, like, enfranchised player, someone who was, like, you know, certainly at the time when these tickets were coming out, which was, like, summer, like, yeah, I hadn't played the tournament in, like, a couple of months at the period, but, like, I was very invested in One Piece. Like, I gave a shit. Like, I wanted to go to all these events, and I didn't even get into one. Like, that was crazy. And then they did um, the, the Europe finals on December 7th, to 8th, which I am also out of the country for. Now, this one, okay, fine, it happens. Like, but I just, I just don't understand why this isn't in January. Like, I just don't get it. Last year, they did it in January. It made sense. Do not do fucking tournaments in December. Like, what are you doing? People have holiday plans. People travel. Like, do it in late January when everyone is back from their fucking holidays and they don't need to worry about whether or not they need to leave a certain fucking weekend open in December to go to play a fucking children's card game. Like, what the fuck is this shit, guys? It just pissed me off on an unreal level. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like, it, this is really annoying. So I didn't get into a single fucking championship finals. Great. So I didn't even have a chance to attempt to qualify for Worlds, um, which I don't even know when, when Worlds is, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, March 15th, 16th. So, like, okay, cool, great. Fine. Um, okay, so I, whatever. Um, let's have a look at some of the events that we had as well. Oh, we've got Treasure Cup. Okay, so where are the Treasure Cups? Uh, Europe. 
Um, ah, okay. Uh, these are all online events. Cool. I don't play in online events anymore. Why don't I play in online events anymore? I'm sick and tired of the fucking cheaters. Like, uh, okay. I am pretty sure. <laughs> I would say probably about 60, 50 to 60% of people who have won an online tournament have probably been cheating. Like, or certainly like topped. And the reason I say this is if you look back over the last like year or two years, the amount of cheating scandals that have come out are ridiculous. Like it feels like almost every month we, there's this new scandal that comes out and like someone new has been found out to be cheating, like multiple like big personalities or something, right? Like what there was that um, that one uh, Nami or Doffy player or wh 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 whoever she was who like, I, I can't remember her name, sorry. Um, but like, I remember it was like a huge deal because like multiple people had had her onto their channels to like talk about playing Nami at a high level and turn out she was a fucking cheater. Okay, cool, great. Um, like loads and loads of people, like there was some like guy who like, top eighted or like won like four tournaments and guys banning these players doesn't do any fucking good because they've already just walked out the door with about 60k in pricing like if <laughs> you know like who gives a shit <laughs> if that was me i wouldn't care i'd be like okay cool whatever i've just won 60k that's literally more than a year's salary for the majority of the fucking population like let's like most people on earth don't get that much money in a year most of them don't get that much money in two or three years and you just got it in one that's insane you got that from playing a fucking children's trading card game and doing a little bit of cheating online for like three weekends huh <laughs> no wonder people are doing this this is a fucking obvious right anyway that's why i don't play online events anymore and they're also like soulless and not fun and like you know part of the reason i go to tournaments is to see my mates anyway so like and that whole thing has gone. But anyway, so, okay, these are online, these are dead to me. That's not to talk about the fucking prizing situation for Treasure Cups, by the way. Let's talk about that. So what do you get for prizing? Okay, they have given you entry boosters. This was sorely needed and would probably be worth something if the price of the average booster pack wasn't about 20x. It's fucking EV, right? Unless you are getting an alt art in your entry packs, you are losing money, for sure. You're probably still losing money on your entry packs, for sure, right? Like, in every other card game, these entry packs are, like, vaguely worth something. But, like... That's just not true in One Piece in the One Piece card game. And don't get me wrong, this is absolutely better than what we had before. Because like before it was literally just a don. Like, oh fucking wonderful. At least now we get some booster packs with it, but it's still bad, right? Like, just do some exclusive promos, please. Like, top up the value. Like, there's that's the only way this is ever worth anything. Uh top 128, garbage. Top 64, um, you get a promo. Top 16, you get a promo. Top eight, you get a promo. Okay, let's look at the promos. What promos are we getting? Okay, uh, so uh, here's the entry packs. Um, these are terrible, right? Like uh, Zorro. Okay, this is an okay card. So he's a, a bit of play. Uh, Onami. Fine, this is a good one. This is your hit, right? Chopper. sees so absolutely zero play. Uh, and Koala um, also sees so absolutely zero play. Cool. So half of that is worthless. Uh, only one of them is actively good, and probably only worth something because they are hyped characters. Cool. Sleeves. Who gives a fuck? Okay. <laughs> fucking chopper guys come on like you can pick better cards than this right i think this card is fine but like okay this is a good pick right i'm happy with this but it's a top 16 promo like we need to you need to start making the most playable ones of these promos top 64 promos and have like the more like collectible like character based ones like be the higher tier pricing because people are going to buy those anyway because they're like rare and they're of like your favorite character whereas if a card is actually playable it might be worth something to people who just want to bling out their decks right like that's how you hedge it you don't do the shit where you make like the playable one the really rare one because no one's going to fucking buy this for two thousand dollars for their decks and then rage is top eight like yes i get it put the fucking woman <laughs> is like your high tier pricing great um all the fucking gooners will like go crazy fantastic but like Who's buying this shit? No one, right? Only collectors, and collectors aren't going to give a fuck if this is, like, the top 8 promo. You might as well make Raju the top 64 promo, and, like... Also, I hate the shift from top 32 to top 16, by the way. What That has benefited no one, right? Like, uh, what, what a shit thing. They've got... Uh, okay, we'll come on to top 32 in a second. Right. Okay, uh, uh, W, though, these two playmats are nice. Cool, great, fine. Okay, that's Treasure Cups. What else we got? Uh, championship regional, uh, offline regionals. Okay, cool. So let's have a look at these. One, one of these, right? Uh, in Europe. Okay, one in uh, Barcelona. Okay, uh, one in the Netherlands in November. Uh, one also at the same time in Italy, uh, and then uh, one at the end of November. Now I'm actually busy for this weekend. I was planning on going to this, but I've had to back out. Fine. So uh, only four of these for the entire period, and they're all in November. Isn't this meant to be October to January? That's weird. Um, huh. Okay. Sure. Um, okay, but what are we getting pricing wise? Okay, participation. Uh, we get some boosters and we get these participation. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Top 512, um, a Don card. Okay, fine. Top, uh, nothing, fine, nothing. Top 64, Shirohoshi. 
What do we share? Let's come back to that in a second. Top 32, we get a finalist card set. Top 16, we get VV. Top 8, Rebecca and the Serial Shanks. Okay, well, let's have a look at these promos. Okay, what do we get for this? Um, so we got this uh, Shirohoshi. Uh, okay, uh, guys, <laughs> why is this the fucking Top 64 promo? Excuse me? Uh, in Japan, the Top 64 promo was the best one, Rebecca. Because, hey, people actually want to play with that fucking card. And it's kind of achievable to get Top 64 at multiple of these events. It is not achievable to get, like, Top 16 or Top 8 at multiple of these events in a row. Uh, and, like, no one's shelling out the kind of cash you need for that. Anyway. Okay, so, yeah, cool. Let's make one of the worst ones. This one, fine. Um, this promo pack is actually decent uh, with, like, three vaguely playable cards. Um, but none of them are like particularly premier. Um, though obviously I want most of them. Like I mean, mainly I want the Daz Bones, my Nami deck, and uh, the Luffy because I'm a black simp. But yeah, uh, then the Vivi, we've got Rebecca. Uh, I was planning on buying four of these. I was unironically planning buying four of these, but not a top eight promo. Not worth it. Uh, and then okay, cool. We get the shit event pack, and then we get uh, yeah, okay, cool. So the prizing's ass. Great. Okay, cool. Nothing's changed. Let's talk about this. Um, Let's talk about this absolute travesty that has happened to Top 32. Do you guys remember when Top 32 was, like, actually really good? Like, if you made Top 32, you got the Top 32 promo, which has now become a Top 16 promo. You got your finalist set, and you got a playmat. Do you guys remember this? The Top 32 playmat is actually really cool. Like, makes you feel like you've actually earned, like, a reasonable top. Top 32 at a big event was, like, potentially enough to make Day 2. But if it wasn't, at least you felt like you were going home with something. And now these fucking pro these finalist card sets are worthless. They've reduced the number of cards you get in the packs. They've chosen shit versions. Like, what is this? Like, it's just bad. Um, and like, yeah, okay, fine. You get your serialized shanks, the value of which is, by the way, is like probably half since its peak. So like, okay, cool. <laughs> Fine. Uh, okay, and then we got this Treasure Cup in February, which we know nothing about, but is also all online. So, to clarify, unless you're playing this game in November exclusively, there's been fuck all tournaments <laughs> outside of finals, which I wasn't able to go to. Yay! Um, so, that's my frustration. <laughs> um, uh, I, I hope I hope that has been made clear. Um, and, uh, and yeah, let's briefly talk about the meta. Let's talk about the meta. Um, okay, so, if you are a BY Luffy player, um, that's really cool for you. Um, you have been having a fantastic year because you've learned your one deck and you've basically got to play it at, like, basically number one meta deck for, like, six months. Cool. Um, if you do not enjoy playing BY Luffy's deck, um, and, like, or, indeed, if you don't enjoy watching that, this has been a pretty shit year for you. I actually, I actually kind of enjoy playing BY Luffy, but I think it's a problematic deck to exist. I don't think it's fun. I think it gatekeeps, like, a huge number of strategies from even existing. Um, and it's just like a shit deck to have in your format. But like, that's the one we have, fine. Um, like if you look at the decks that are actually like successful at the moment, it's just like so shit. And then we look at OPO9 and like, it doesn't look any better, right? Like, okay, what do we, we get fucking Ploofy, which with like a load of new bullshit. Guys, Ploofy is not a fun deck to play against. <laughs> it's not a fun deck to play. Like, I, I don't know why people think this like aggro ooga booga bullshit. Like I'm just going to slam big cards, take my life wrapped on big Luffy, big Luffy tap swing, smack your face in. That's not super fun to play with, right? Like, I like games with one piece where it's like, you know, there's skill expression and things go you know, kind of back and forth and you can get rewarded for, like, deck building sessions and, like, <laughs> I just feel like that really exists right now. There's Blackbeard, who just, like, shuts off your deck from even doing anything, depending on the deck you play. There's Shanks, who's, like, just red does fucking shit stuff. Cool. Um, and then, like, obviously, like, there's obviously the, you know, BY and all and stuff, like, which will still exist. Um, Blackbeard, thankfully somewhat gatekeeping that a little bit because like okay if you turn off all on place that is a lot better but like huh does this game seem fun to you right now <laughs> like is anyone actually having fun i have loads of fun at my locals because we play fucking random bullshit decks and we have just like a fun time right like playing zonji and shit like that right like that's fun. <laughs> not the shit meta. Oh my god. Okay. To be fair, I've not played the game anywhere near enough in OPO8 and OPO8.5 to like judge whether or not the meta is actually terrible. Obviously, Doffy's all over the place. Cool. Um, and yeah, maybe I'm a little bit salty that my Black Star today gave me fuck all to actually make use of. And yeah, maybe I'm a little bit salty that Sakazuki died for nothing. But, you know, whatever. Um, I almost miss RP Law. <laughs> I always miss RP Law gatekeeping the fuck out of a fucking <laughs> this, this fucking shit text. But okay, anyway, uh, that 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 little bit of salt aside, that is why I have not made a One Piece videos in quite a while. Um, I, I am looking forward to making more One Piece videos. I don't know if you can see that there. That is a Rebecca leader. That's an all type Rebecca leader. That is one of my favorite decks in the game I've played, and that probably makes me part of the problem because I know a lot of people do not like playing against that deck. But I was not a slow player. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, so I'm looking forward to OP10, I'm looking forward to, like, the EB, like, to just play a load of Dress Rosa, I find Rebecca really, really fun, I'm looking forward to, like, doing all sorts of nonsense with that deck, and I appreciate that that's just, like, a super, 
one-sided way of looking at it, but like looking at like the sort of overarching thing, like there is all these issues that were problems in year one. And I was absolutely happy to like be like, okay, but I get it, right? That's fine. Um, and somehow like things got worse, right? Like on the product side, things got fucking worse. Now you can buy the product, but it shows up six months late. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Um, and then on the event side, all they had to do was just do more events. How was this complicated? And they did, except they managed to do it in the worst fucking way possible. I, I mean, you guys saw my One Piece Finals video. If you haven't, please check it out. I kind of set out all the issues with it. How is it that multiple world finals contenders were not able to play in your fucking European... Uh, okay, I'm done. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the rant. Uh, if you're interested in playing Star Wars Unlimited, you should check out my other videos on the channel. It's a really fun game. I'd really recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, there will be One Piece content. It will be in the new year. <laughs> so look forward to that. See you guys then. Cheers.